Hey everybody, so I've been playing a lot of Siege, and I noticed in ranked games and in trying to find an esports team, uh, people put a lot of value on your rank, your KD, and your win-loss ratio. And to me it doesn't make sense, and I'll tell you guys why. This is just my a personal opinion. Uh, I've been watching a lot of esports clips, esports explaining videos, all that jazz. And the more that I watch those videos, the more that how someone performs in ranked siege, what their rank is, doesn't really matter to me. And uh, let's start with rank. Rank is only influenced by one thing, which is your win or loss ratio. And by default, if you're in a five stack, you're gonna have a higher rank. So if I am a, let's just say a plat one, I could be, be like less skilled than a silver one player. But because I'm in a five stack all the time and we're in comms and the game doesn't balance five stacks against five stacks, of course you're gonna win more games. Of course, if you're in a five stack and you go against five solo cures, no matter what your skill level is, you're already at a disproportionately huge advantage. You all have comms, you all know how to work together, and you all have probably at least one prepared plan. One, you know, you've all in a five stack because at some point you all met together. You know, maybe you're all brand new to Siege. But if you're in ranked, you all know what operators you play. You know, so it's kind of like, Already, when it comes to rank, the results are skewed. You know, I noticed that when I played with, let me think, there was a group of people I played with, like three or four of us, and then it was down to two of us. When I played with just with the two of us, my rank has consistently been higher than if I just solo queue and play by myself. So another thing on this rank thing is it doesn't take into account a person's individual skill with their own operators. So. When I played a bunch of seasons, I would stick to operators I was good at. So one of the operators I was really, really good at was Thermite, because I was, I was good at uh, just hanging out in the back and then popping the charges on, right? And I like Thermite's gun, too. Uh, attackers, I'd sometimes play Thatcher or Sledge. Defenders, I always played like Mute, Frost, Rook, those guys. And this season, I decided that I was going to play as Buck, and I was, or first it was Gridlock, now it's Buck, and Mozzie. And I also decided that every single round as Buck, I would try to go for a vertical play. Because I sucked at vertical plays, I want to get better at vertical plays. And every round as Mozzie, I wanted to try to get the most potential out of my drones. So I'd force myself into situations as Mozzie where I needed to use my drones, and Buck, I'd force myself into situations where I would have to go vertical. Now, not only is every win-loss KD rank going to be lower, because I'm trying out new operators, but I'm also working on specific skills in ranked. I'm not focusing on ranking up. I'm focusing on getting my vertical play good, getting my Mozzie drones good. If I decided right now, I'm at gold, almost gold two. If I decided to stop playing Buck and Mozzie and play the operators I'm really, really good at, I would bump back up. And as soon as I start playing those operators, I go back down. You know, so it doesn't take into account that person's individual skill level. Right now I'm a gold three, but if I start playing Rook, Mute, and Frost on defense, my rank's gonna get bumped. If I start going Thatcher, Sledge, Thermite, Sledge is kinda iffy. I just kinda pick Sledge just because. Or maybe Hibana or Jackal, then my rank's gonna go up. Like, it's not that hard to influence my rank up or down. And the last thing I want to stick on with this rank thing is I'm not trying to rank up. I'm trying to get better at a specific skill set in the game. I'm trying to... I'm so, Guys, I'm solo queuing Intel operators. Do you know how challenging that is? That's ridiculously hard to do. And of course my rank's going to be lower. Now let's talk about KD. What... This is so stupid. Guys, I'll just say it right here. No, it doesn't matter, okay? If, let's just go back to my intel thing. If I'm a riot shield main, 
versus an entry fragger, who's going to have a higher KD? You know the answer. I know the answer. The entry fragger is going to have the higher KD. Am I a roamer versus an anchor versus an intel, right? The roamer is going to have a higher KD than intel because all my, all my experience is intel, right? I'm on the cam, and instead of going, oh, there's a guy in that room, I'm going to run to that room. I'm on the cam, I say, hey, Romer, the guy in that room, they get the kill, right? And that kind of goes along with win-loss, because uh, win-loss is kind of different. It's team-related. And if I say I'm a solo queue, my win-loss doesn't matter. Like, if it's high, that means that I'm good at clutching. You know, if it's, like, anything above one, then I must be contributing to the team. That's kind of the way I look at it, is if your win-loss is, even then, I would probably ask about what you contribute to the team anyways. So win-loss, I would be like, hmm, I expect them to say it. But, you know, win-loss is just kind of that arbitrary thing that, I mean, it's like, what? If you're in a five stack, you're going to win. At the beginning of the season, you're going to win a lot. And then once it balances out, you start losing. Like, win-loss is like, it's going to be, if you're ranking up, it's going to be higher. If you're losing rank, it's going to be lower, like... What's the big deal with win-loss? But when it comes to KD, like, what? are you? If you're an entry fragger, if you're an Ash that doesn't care and just kills people, and your gun skill's really good, great, your KD's going to be high. But maybe you lose a bunch of rounds because you decided to pick Ash and you didn't use your Ash charges on Maestro cams or walls or whatever the case may be. Or maybe your KD's low because... You are, um, like me, I'm a mozzie. My KD should be lower because I'm on my drones telling people where people are so they can execute. Really, as mozzie, at this point, the only time I really pop my gun out is if there's, like, after, is after a couple people die. And even then, that still gives them the chance to, those two, three people, to kill all five people. So I've just started really trying to look for teams, and I've already been running into this problem. Uh, I... That's why I, I record my eSports stuff and I spam the live streams one every day. That's why I post at least one every day is because I want to show people, hey, okay, these are the numbers and I could tell you, you know, I could show you my profile where I've hit platinum in all these areas and bronze in this season and whatever in this season. I can show you, but now I can show you that as a competitive siege player, not a ranked player, a competitive siege player, this is what I bring to the table, right? I might not get kills, but I can be on a camp. I might not win a lot of games, but that's because I'm solo queuing as intel, you know? I might be a lower rank, but that's because I'm trying new stuff out. And that's, at you know, at that lower rank is where my skill level is for that stuff. My vertical, my playing buck going vertical my rank is lower than if I'm Thermite or Thatcher playing as support, maybe blowing open walls or EMPing everything, droning, you know? So that's what my opinion on that is. It's really just an opinion. Uh, it's kind of my, I would say, gut intuition and like 2% research. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and I suck just as bad as you do at video games. Um, yeah. See you guys in the next video.